Wonder what you're thinking about these new cases that we're seeing. We did hear from the commissioner today, which I'll get to in a minute. But is there a chance that this whole thing could fall apart before it even gets started? I don't think so. Look, uh, this whole thing, we are testing. And the reason we're testing the players is to make sure that, you know, if they have the virus, um, to end up sort of quarantine. So the whole idea is to provide a safe environment to sort of create like an Olympic village and have everybody go there. So, you know, that that's the goal and hopefully we'll be able to do that. Today, Commissioner Silver, I referenced the comments uh, that he gave in an interview with Time magazine. He said, quote, our model was designed for this, reacting to what he's seeing in terms of these positive tests. Uh, but when the plan obviously was designed, Mark, we didn't know about all of these spiking cases uh, down in Florida and Orlando being one of the hottest hotspots. Yeah, that's correct. But at the end of the day, everybody's, you know, whether it's Florida or wherever you're going to have it, um, you know, the players are going into a bubble. So um, that's why we sort of think it's going to be very safe for everybody. Um, and we've made sure that, in essence, um, you know, the people who are going there have been tested and don't have any issues. So I think everything is going to be fine. I've asked you this, you know, weekly when you appear with me on the halftime report of, of what your players are saying. And that, frankly, the situation is change, changing so often. I, I don't mind asking you that, that question again. Are you hearing anything differently from your own players? No, nothing yet. I think our players still want to go down there. Um, I think everybody is excited to start playing again. So, um, so far, um, I think we're leaving July 8th or 9th to get down there. Um, and everybody's excited about playing. Commissioner said a significant number of cases was, would mean that they would cancel. Do, do you have any indication in terms of what that means? What, what number would put things over the edge, so to speak, and force a cancellation? I don't. I mean, that, that's going to be up to Adam. I think Adam has done an absolutely great job on this. So I think all the owners are looking to Adam to sort of lead us um, and, you know, make sure everything is fine. Like you were a basketball fan long before you were the owner of this franchise, Mark. I'm just, just sort of wondering what you're thinking about yourself uh, as the steward of a professional sports franchise at a time like this. Look, I think for us, the most important thing is to make sure everybody's going to be safe. Um, the good news so far is it seems that, especially for professional athletes, that if they get this, their symptoms are pretty mild. And hopefully that continues. Um, but I think right now, as long as we can keep everybody safe, and you know, the goal is to hopefully be able to play basketball, um, at least for the Bucks to hopefully win a championship. And how, how do you think about the issue of fans being able to come back at, at some point? Certainly not this year. It seems uh, highly unlikely, obviously, given the scenario and the bubble situation down in, in Orlando. Um, I'm looking at a, a poll that we do as a states of play uh, poll. It says 70 percent of people uh, say that it's unsafe to attend a large indoor sports event. Um, the public's been traumatized by this. I, I would agree with that. I think today it is. So um, I think we're going to restart the season, hopefully in December um, or January. But a lot of that is going to be, um, is it going to be safe? And I think that's the top priority of the NBA. So maybe fans come and you're, you're coming, but you're coming and you're wearing a mask. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know. I mean, the, I think we're taking it one day at a time and we'll try to figure that out. Um, as time goes on, and I think we're going to learn quite a bit because you're going to have baseball, you're going to have football. Um, you've got other sports that are going to be starting and are going to try to do it with fans. So we'll see what ends up happening. It's going to be interesting to watch. That's for sure. 